Hello students, welcome back. Uh, this is a poem. The name of the poem is Snowdrop and it is in class 10th and again the book to lips uh, by Board of School Education Kashmir, right? So uh, let's go to the introduction of this very poem. Dear students, here on your screen it is Ted Hughes, the um, poet who has written this poem. Okay, so in uh, the introduction, what do we see? This poem is written by Ted Hughes. He was born on 7th of August in 1930 in the West Riding of Yorkshire. His Poetry is marked by the heavy use of natural and animal imagery, violence, the complexity of thought, literary devices and free verse. Snowdrop is a fine winter poem in just eight lines of a couplets, okay, which don't rhyme in the traditional sense. The poet presents the harsh and cruel image of nature in this poem. The poet uh, pictures the life of different aerial and terrestrial animals which are affected by the severe winter. Finally, he talks about a flower called snowdrop which blooms in harsh winter. He admires the flower for sprouting through the frosty earth's surface. Uh, let me tell you at the very first outset key, uh, in class 10th, we will give you the literal, almost the literal meaning of this poem. Otherwise, it has deep, deep meaning and most probably that goes back to uh, the religious concepts, biblical concepts, right? So, even all the animals present in the poem can be referred to human beings, right? So, but I will not refer to that interpretation of this poem here. I will superficially, what is important for examination? But I hope that, uh, inshallah, in your upcoming days, when you have full time, please read it, uh, different shades of meanings of this poem. Fine? So, dear students, here, let's go to the text of this very poem. Okay, uh, I'm playing an audio, just listen to it, but please concentrate. Now is the globe shrunk tight round the mouse's dulled wintering heart. Weasel and crow, as if moulded in brass, move through an outer darkness, not in their right minds, with the other deaths. She too pursues her ends, brutal as the stars of this month. Her pale head, heavy as metal, so that was the audio, right? And rather the recitation of this very poem, right on your screen, you can see the snowdrop and its flowers. Uh, and on the ground, you can see huge snow, right? The flower actually, snowdrop. So you can see that here on the screen, right? Let's move to some important business. And first of all, let's see what are the different uh, poetic devices here in this very poem, right? Oh, first of all, again, language, right? Uh, sorry, imagery. In imagery, you see in this poem, uh, Hughes, Hughes has used harsh and violent images of nature, like dull wintering hot, weasel and crow, moulded in brass, outer darkness, other deaths, etc. So, if you come to symbolism, let me be very honest, at a trivial level, you don't find much about this device in the poem. But actually, uh, to be very honest to you, Imandari se bolta aapko ke, if you go to the deeper studies, this poem is completely full of symbols, right? So, thoda sa that's why ki, ho sakta hai ki advanced study ke liye ab jayenge, to mein aapko thoda sa idea symbolism ke yaan pe dena chahunga. So, the reference to the creatures, just my weasel, crow, mouse, she, ka concept last man, to may figuratively apply to people who 
pursuing the spirituality and refinement as they enter the winter old age of their lives to jab hum buzurg mein aate hain to we move back to spirituality fir bas mazhab ki hi yaad aati hai hum move karte hain to baaki cheeze hum bhool jate hain to kya hota hai their survival nature to zinda rehne ka jo survival ke liye hum jo koshish karte hain तो जो एक्ट ऑफ प्रेइंग होता है जो हम उस चीज को पकड़े इस चीज को पकड़े सब कुछ हासिल करें मे कॉन्स्ट्रेन वो उसमें फिर कदगल लगती है वी स्टॉप इट्स जस्ट टू द नीड फॉर सर्किंग क्या हम सिर्फ चाहते हैं कि आप किसी तरह जिंदा रहे बस उतना ही खाने खाना उतना ही चाहिए जिससे हम जिंदा रह सकें तो दैट्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट दे मूव इन आउटर डॉकनेस तो बाहर से उनको ऐसा लगता है जैसे अगर उनके सामने पैसे भी रखे हैं मसले जब लोग स्पिरिचुअलिटी पे चले जाते हैं कितनी भी दौलत रखो तो दे फील एज देर इज नथिंग हाउ एवर विद इन इन रेडियंस लेकिन उनके अंदर एक चमक होती है एक स्पिरिचुअलिटी एक कॉन्सेप्ट पैदा हुआ होता है सो दिस डीपर कॉन्सेप्ट इन शाह यू विल रीड इट अबाउट बट इट्स जस्ट रेफरेंस टू इट सो लेट्स गो टू एलिट्रेशन इट्स अ रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट साउंड बार बार मैं आपको कह रहा हूँ तो इसमें एक लाइन है हर पेल हैड heavy as metal you have seen h three times her sound in red it has been repeated in this line so maybe there are other examples you will find that out and personification is to give human characteristics for example she too pursues her and here it is uh, flower there are so many interpretations to this she but we will keep it to uh, flower right so flower uh, is an inanimate thing it is given a human quality it is also moving towards walking towards it is and right so uh, these were few of the uh, poetic devices you can find alliteration here also you can find uh, assonance in this poem right but in this uh, sh uh, short time i am not referring all of these devices let us go to the part of explanation the poet says that globe has shrunk because of the extreme cold he says that cold has stagnated the movement of active and brisk creatures like a mouse which seems to be dull and inactive he further adds that the crows which are free to fly anywhere also restricted by the cool weather and the weasel also remain dormant as if they are molded into the statues of brass even if these creatures try to move out in order to find their prey it appears as if days were converted into nights because everything seems to be dozing and lifeless moreover they try to return to their places quickly due to the threat of death because of the chilly winter and thus the creatures seem to be very dead senseless so jaise ki poem mein likha gaya hai not in their right minds in the next stanza the poet turns his attention towards the little gloomy flower snowdrop which blooms in such harsh weather and cuts its way open through the frosty earth it blooms in a beautiful way like the stars of winter season which shine without any consideration of cold and hot season the snowdrop blooms with its drooping flowers which makes a feel that its small pale head is made of metal despite it is heavy it is heavy flowers and severe winter it achieves it is goal and blooms to maine aapko bulaya ab fir ek baat aap se ye baat ye clear karna chahta hu ki this is the superficial and trivial meaning of this poem and this is very very uh, important and apt for class 10 but at a deeper level this all uh, we have to go to the uh, connotation of this very poem and then uh, everything will change we will have all together a different study and understanding of this poem if you go to the implied meaning that we will not do here okay now let's move to the theme what is the theme very simple and clear life is full of struggles and hardships the person who tackles these hindrances with determination and courage is said to be brave and successful nature also uses various processes to teach the humans the lesson of success by determination and positive approach for example snowdrops which are small white flowers bloom in harsh and severe winters and cut its way and it pops up through the frosty earth to jab ek nazuk phool itne sakht barf aur jo minus temperature se bana hota hai to usko tod kar ye snowdrop bahar aata hai and keeps its head 
तो उसने इतने माइनस टेम्परेचर्स में तो यहाँ पर एक प्रेरणा मिलती है कि इंस्परेशन मिलती है हम बच्चों के लिए स्पेशली आपके लिए कि कोई भी आपके लिए कोई टफ कंप्रेशन हो तो आप अगर पेशेंस टॉलरेंस और एक परमानेंस रखोगे आहिस्ता आहिस्ता पढ़ते रहोगे तो स्टडी करते रहोगे तो जब एक फ्लावर इतना फ्रेजाइल इतना डेलिकेट फ्लावर ऐसे ब्लूम कर सकता है इतने टफ विंटर में तो आगे आने वाले आपके लिए चलेंगे इस क्या काम हो किस काम के हैं यू कैन डू वंडर्स बट ऑनली यूर परसिस्टेंस एंड कॉन्सिस्टेंस मैटर्स दैट इज एक्चुअली द थीम ऑफ दिस पोएम फॉर क्लास टेंथ राइट सो लेट्स गो टू द पार्ट ऑफ एवेलुएशन दो चार क्वेश्चन मैंने यहाँ पे रखे हैं अगर आपने पोईम अच्छी से समझी है तो आई एम श्योर एनफ यूल बी एबल टू आंसर माई क्वेश्चन ओके तो इन क्वेश्चन पे थोड़ा सा कॉन्सेंट्रेट कीजिए अगेन मैं आपको बता दूँ कि आपके पास नोट पेड होना चाहिए जब आप ये पोईम पढ़ेंगे तो आप आराम से एक एक चीज़ को नोट डाउन करते जाइए जो चीज़ें मैं बोलता हूँ हो सकता है मेरी स्पीड यहाँ पे तेज भी हो क्योंकि मुझे बहुत सारी चीज़ों का देखना पड़ता है यहाँ पे मुझे स्पेस की भी प्रॉब्लम है ऑनलाइन में ये चीजें देखनी पड़ती है या अपलोड करने में टाइम लगता है तो इसलिए आप नोट पेड पेन रखिए और आराम से हर एक चीज को रिपीट करते रिवाइंड करते जाइए और लिखते जाइए और लास्ट में इन क्वेश्चंस का आंसर कीजिए तो क्वेश्चन है ट्रांसफर द पोएम इनटू द इमेज फॉर्म गिविंग ऑल द डिटेल्स प्रेजेंट इन द पोएम यानी आपको चेंज करना है जो कुछ इस पोएम में टेक्स्ट में लिखा हुआ है उसको आप पिक्चर फॉर्म में अलग अलग कपल जो कुपलेक्स के हैं उनकी आपको कोशिश करनी है कि अगर आपको समझ आए तो उसकी एक पिक्चर बनानी है ठीक है दैट मीन्स यू हैव कॉम्प्रेंडेड द पोएम डिस्क्राइब द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ विंटर ऑन द क्रीचर्स मैं इन द पोएम तो विंटर शर्मा का जो असर जो इफेक्ट जो हालात खराब हो गए हैं तमाम क्रीचर्स के जो इसमें मौजूद है तो क्या क्या हुआ है उन क्रीचर्स को तो वो आपने लिखना है Why has the stars been attributed as brutal? इस पोएम में स्टार्स को ब्रूटल कहा गया है तो ऐसा क्यों है राइट right? तो अगर आपको ये क्वेश्चन आ रहा है तो ठीक अगर नहीं जहां पर भी आप ये पोएम अगर आप सुनेंगे पढ़ेंगे लिखेंगे तो मेहरबानी करके वहीं से मुझे आप इसका लिंक जो है आप वहीं पर मुझे क्वेश्चन कर सकते हो तो आई कैन हेल्प इन दिस क्वेश्चन और आई कीप इट ओपन टू यू इन शॉप कंट्रोस्ट टू द क्रीचर्स इन द पोएम दिस सुनो ड्रॉप गिव दस होप डू यू एग्री वाई और नॉट वाई और वाई नॉट तो तमाम क्रीचर्स एक साइड में रहकर मुर्दा हो गए हैं चल नहीं सकते हैं इमोबाइल है हार्श इम्पैक्ट वो झेल नहीं पा रहे हैं विंटर का मगर इसके मुकाबले में स्नो ड्रॉप बिल्कुल अलग हमें एक उम्मीद की किरण लेकर आता है इस विंटर्स में एक पॉजिटिव साइड दिखा रहा है अगर आप इसे एग्री करते हो तो ठीक अगर करते हो तो आपको बोलना पड़ेगा क्यों करते हो अगर एग्री नहीं करते तो आपको बोलना पड़ेगा व्हाई डोंट यू एग्री ठीक है सो आई होप कि यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस पोइम थैंक यू वेरी मच 